High security pins are almost the same as normal pins. They serve the same basic purpose. They move up and down in the pin stack and separate at the shear line, just like their simpler brethren. They only begin to act differently when someone tries to pick them. These more costly pins will fool you into thinking you have set them, while they haven't really cleared the shear line at all. You will get that satisfying click and the plug will rotate just like normal. But something is amiss. The lock will refuse to open. The mushroom pin gets its name because its shape vaguely resembles a mushroom. The indentation in the side of the pin allows it to false set as it is being pushed upwards. The top edge of the head of the pin will slip by, mimicking the pin setting, yet remain stuck at the same time. Because it is the top pin that is set, the lower pin can still fall freely down, further maintaining the charade. Because it is the top of the pin that is stuck, you can no longer simply continue to push up. You will have to slightly release your pressure on the torque wrench while tapping or pushing up to allow the pin to fit completely through the hole. Especially if they have rounded ends, you may have to pick some pins several times for them to properly set. This backwards rotation of the plug will provide valuable feedback though it may unset some pins you had previously set. Don't worry, you will be able to go back and pick those normal pins again later. A second popular design for high security pins is the spool pin. They are also aptly named because their shape resembles a spool. They produce a very deceiving false set and can be difficult to detect until too late. The side of the pin is designed to catch on the edge of the hole, making it very difficult to push up while applying too much torque. Again, try to reduce your torque and jiggle up on the deceiving pin. An important difference between opening a lock with a key and picking it is that torque must be applied to the plug while picking. A special pin design called a serrated pin exploits this fact to make picking incredibly difficult. The sides of the pin and hole have teeth and edges that catch on each other when torque is applied to the plug. This holds them in place and prevents you from pushing them upwards. Vibrational or impact methods may work better for these locks. Generally, only a few of the top pins will be replaced with these special high security pins, though the serrated design may be used in all of the pin columns. If pushing up on a pin causes the plug to rotate backwards slightly, then you are most likely dealing with a security pin. A light torque with a heavier picking force can be used, or you can switch to a high speed raking, impact, or vibrational method. Security tumblers were once the exclusive domain of expensive, high-security cylinders. As time goes by, they are becoming more and more common. You are probably quite likely to experience them in your travels, but not on the common door lock yet.